All of us as cello players, no matter what level you are and what stage of your journey you are traveling along, need feedback from somebody that will give you a lift and positively will motivate you to elevate your performance. Sometimes you need this prior to an audition or a concert. Or like yours truly, it's just simply to make a better video on YouTube. And if you are enjoying my content, please like and subscribe, turn on notifications. It helps me out a lot. Now I have engaged the services of musiciansgradebook.com to help me improve my cello playing in an upcoming video. Musiciansgradebook.com is a wonderful website where you can upload your audio recording and have a high level musician carefully listen to your recording and give you detailed feedback on your playing. You also upload a picture of your partition and they could read along and know exactly where you are so you are both on the same page. It's a great service for anyone who doesn't have access to their teacher or really just for anyone who wants to elevate their performance level. And how do I know this? Because I have used it myself. 24 hours ago, I submitted a recording of an upcoming video on my channel and here is the feedback. It's wonderful, let me tell you. I love constructive criticism because it helps elevate your cello playing. So here goes my own personal feedback on Eric Satie, the premier gymnopédie. In measure five and seven, I am told, I should aim for more legato sound. If the vibrato starts and stops too much, it can interfere with the smoothness of the piece. Try to make the vibrato more connected between notes this is quite subjective, but I also have seen a version where each measure was a slur at the beginning, so it wouldn't be too far-fetched to add some slurs. Well, I do agree with Leticia there, and I'm going to do exactly that. And as you see in my score, updated of course, every single one of these is with one stroke. Let's go on to the second critique and measure 35 and 6, and in 37, those are C sharps and F sharps. However, 38 and 39 were perfect, in my opinion, not too soft with a slight pause. And she was right about that, right on the nose right here. I was playing those C naturals and F natural. And whenever you make a mistake as egregious as that, always make that notation. And afterwards, she said that she liked this right here. So great. I'm glad she liked it. Such a humbling and simple mistake. But that is why we have people listen to our playing prior to your performance, audition, or YouTube video. Let's go forward. In measure 24, 33, 67, and 72, the crescendos need to be enhanced to add a little variety, so I need to lean into them. And in measure 26, 31, 37, 78, see how detailed this is? And so what I did, I, I made the music my own by simply <laughs> highlighting exactly those places where I've been told to make those crescendos and diminuendos. You see it's much darker on those places right there. So again, something I greatly appreciate. I'm always trying to play perfectly on point, but when you get too much in the technicality, you lose the musicianship and that special sauce that makes listening to music so nice. In measure 67, the glissando was considered appropriate for this piece. And that's what I call the prayer. And what is she talking about? Exactly right here in measure 67. This is what I talk about. When I play this note right here, there is nothing giving me the ability to know exactly what I'm doing, except simply shifting my index finger back. And I call it a prayer. You shift back and you either hit it or you don't. <laughs> that's why I call it a prayer. So overall, this was very lovely. I think you have a wonderful understanding of this style of the piece. The shifts were flawless and it was pleasant to listen to. Well, thank you very much for this constructive criticism and I'm going to apply all of that right now. And hopefully it sounds just a little bit better.
So if you want to check out musiciansgreatbook.com, I'm going to link it in the description below. I think it benefited me and I think it will benefit you too. So thank you once again for watching my video here on the Cello Coach channel. My name is Jonathan and if you want to support my work even further, please consider subscribing. It is the easiest thing you can do. It takes no effort and all you need to do is click that button, subscribe. So thank you once again for watching this video on my constructive criticism of Eric Satie. And please, wherever you are in the world, enjoy this wonderful journey of music discovery. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.